Well, we're in a 21st century setting, Southampton St Mary's Stadium, and Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, to describe the action for you here. Southampton in action today against Newcastle United. It's an amazing achievement in the 15-16 season for Bournemouth to play in the top division for the very first time in their history and to stay there. And now they're looking for even more. Well, heady times for this football club in a Champions League position at this stage. Who would have thought that? It's going to be fascinating to see if they can keep it up. A lot of football still to be played. Southampton trying today to show that they're better than they looked in that away defeat in their last game. That was a defeat against Bournemouth. Yeah, the 2 0 defeat, a bit worrying. It was a bit worrying with the way that they defended. I'll be disappointed with it. Uh, determined to improve today, and uh, I think this is a winnable match for them. The Saints have made one change. Pierre Emil Hoybjerg starts with Oriol Romeu in midfield. An attack Danny Ings starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Thank you for attending St. Mary's. Newcastle State. United have made the one change. And Keo starts, despite looking shaky in recent games. Mohamed Diame starts looking to recover his form. And looking at the front men, well, there are two of them in this lineup. First half has begun here. Here's Hoybjerg. Gabert. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. And it's going to be his throw here. Share. News of a penalty at Leicester, Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Leicester City. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take it. Great penalty, curling into the left-hand corner. Five minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. And it's a shot now! And he's caught that right, but just off target. Ah, not too much wrong with the technique there. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. Sloppy work, really. A chance to break away now on the counter. To really get at the opposition here. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Well, he's thrown possession away. Taking on the defenders. You can see what he was trying to do with the cross, but it's a goal kick. Well, I think the player's had a word in the manager's ear, hasn't he? We surprised to see him in the team. Maybe he's talked his way into it. Oh, maybe, and now is the time to uh, back that talk up. He's been playing well in the reserves, so let's see if he can take it forward. Pulido. Mohamed Diame. It's Manquillo. Pulido. Gabert. Hansen. 
He's coming forward with some danger. And now the shot. And they get it away. It was an easy save because he was able to plot the path of the ball all the way into his hands. Newcastle United knowing that nothing less than the top performance is going to give them a chance of winning this one. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. That's an easy cutout for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Goal news now from Fulham, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Fulham, 25 minutes played. Opening them up with a through pass. Letting the shot go! And that's gone out for a corner, clear cut. And an opportunity now, maybe. Swung in from the corner. Defended well. Room for the cross. Whipped in from the wide area. They've soaked up a lot of danger here, but it hasn't hurt them, and now they're on the ball. It's a great game involving Fulham. Alan McAnally is there watching it for us, as you heard. Just to confirm what he brought you, the score is now 1-0. Couldn't hold on to the ball. Hansen. Yeah, Emil Hoybjerg. Comes in with a tackle. Mohamed Diame on the move and able to cut out the pass. Throw in coming up. He's blocked that well. Mohamed Diame. Pulido. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? He's got his shot off now. Well, it's over hit, isn't it? And it's the goalkeeper's ball. Pulido. And he gives it back to him. Here's Danny Ings. A penalty at Anfield. Alan McAnally is there. It's a penalty for Liverpool. He's put the ball down on the spot. Here he comes. Oh, he's blasted it miles over. That's a shocking penalty. 37 minutes played. It remains 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Probing the pass. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Powerful drive, close enough to suggest, have another go, son. Yeah, strong shot, I think the keeper saw it coming all the way, though. Mohamed Diame. Federico Fernandez. Turnover there that we didn't expect. Ings. It's Ings. Takes on the shot. Southampton's corner. Strong strike from long range and good goalkeeping. The ball did move in the air a touch, so he had to keep his concentration. That's a fine shot, an even better save. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but... Nevertheless, had to keep his eye on the ball. And in it goes. Cleared away, well up. Shot on! Somehow he saved it. Corner again. <laughs> Corner played into the middle. Oh, that's good defending. 
It's an excellent cross. It's not really away. Poor clearance. And here's the shot. Referee's given a corner. Put the corner in the middle. He has cleared it well. That's nimble play to get over the slight tackle. Neatly intercepted. Well, that is half-time, and the score is nil-nil here. Absolutely nothing between these two very good teams. But because they're so evenly matched, it hasn't quite been the spectacle. And maybe we predicted that. Well, we were expecting... Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Vestergaard. Well, we've got a goal to tell you about to Alan McAnally from the King Power Stadium. It's a second goal for West Ham United. 48 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, he's tried his shot from well, nowhere near, and uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. Yeah. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Can really get at the opposition here. Saw the goal and went for it. Well, there it is. The opening goal of the game. No wonder they're off and running in celebration. And what a finish from him outside the box. He couldn't have hit that much harder to find the left side. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. So it's Southampton with the lead. Well, we're hearing about a sending off at the King Power Stadium, Alan McAnally. It's a red card for the home team. They're down to 10 men. 55 minutes played. It remains 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Gets his cross in. It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Oh, that's superb for Southampton. Well, it's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. for Southampton. Number nine, Mohamed Diame. Pulido. Good forward play from them. Comes in strongly.
Ings. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Newcastle want to make a substitution here. Pulido. Just working away to try and find an opening. Oriol Romeo. He's got his shot off now. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. Corner played into the middle. That's an excellent cross. And they get it away. He's had a go. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here to save that shot from distance. Cresswell. Cresswell. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. It's a good place to win the ball here. Rondo. The shot's on! A real miscue here. Substitution for Newcastle Activity United. on the bench the for the losing team. A substitute getting ready to come off. To be replaced by number two, Kieran Clark. Mohamed Diame. They've got numbers in this attack. And it looks dangerous. Shots on here. Trying to get the cross in. The nearest defender blocked it. Southampton still lead. And the supporters almost starting to celebrate already. I think they've been really pleased with what they've seen. And I just hope the players can hold on to this lead. Corner's taken. Cleared away, well away from goal. I think the cross is on. Well, then it goes. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball. No apologies for focusing on this fellow. Oh, he's looked really lively today, hasn't he? He's been getting the ball in good areas, turning, shooting with both feet, and he's got himself a goal. Corner swung in, cleared away by the defender. Got to pass the ball a bit better than this if they're going to make progress, giving it straight away. Well, he's gone in a bit on the wild side. That's going to be a yellow card for this player. He can't have any complaints. These days, going off your feet like that is running the risk of the referee taking serious action. Well, he made up his mind and he was committed to the sliding tackle. Just missed out on the ball, though. Pulido. Pretty late, the challenge. Well, decisive from the referee, no doubt in his mind that that was a yellow card. I don't know, you know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. Well, he fancies this. He's a single-minded lad, he's going to go for goal. Hit it well! Out in front of goal. Pass threaded through. Rondo. It's a deep cross towards the back post. Good distance to the clearance then. 
think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Here's Danny Ings. El Yunusi. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. 85 minutes played, five to go. Break quickly when they get possession. Newcastle want to make a substitution here. He's had a look at the ref, he knows what's coming. Well, that episode is going to lead to a yellow card from the referee. Well, look at the ref, he reached for his pocket straight away. No uh, hesitation from him. Look again, Alan, at, at this, the slide tackle that went wrong. Well, he saw the ball and he thought he could win it. I mean, it always looks worse in slow motion, doesn't it? But he was just a fraction off there. He's keeping us guessing here, not quite sure what he's going to do. Well, it's over hit, isn't it? And it's the goalkeeper's ball. 88 minutes played here. Here's Danny Ings. The referee has indicated there will a be challenge. A of four minutes of added time. Oh, it's a sending off. And that's going to spoil their day here. It might not change the result, though. Well, I don't know what was going through his mind there. His team are, are heading for the win. Didn't need to go into that challenge. Pulido. Kieran Clark. Keeper's ball. No. Foul against Newcastle. It's going to be yellow, and it's going to the Newcastle United player. Yeah, I think in this day and age, he would be expecting that. That's it, final whistle. Well, this goes against the conventional football wisdom, doesn't it? To win the game with less players than the opposition. Fantastic effort. It just goes to show, if you keep your heads, if you reorganise, you can still be a force. You certainly proved that out here. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance.